right guys, welcome back. I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day today. We are uh, back up here in Soktuk Village. So I think that's how you say it. Whatever. Uh, I got some placards to put on this old girl. We got just over 3,000 pounds of uh, batteries, so we get these on here. I like the fact that these are like plastic, so they're not paper, they're not gonna fall apart very easily. I don't know, get in there. There you go. That'll work. This load here, uh, like the last one I did was, th that last one was 40, 40 some thousand pounds, 39,000, so right at 40. Uh, oh, hey, there's a seal. All right, so I'm gonna get my straps and I'm gonna put my straps on here uh, before I seal this old girl up. Make sure it tops down. So, set these down right here. I'm holding the camera in doing this. I should have used the, the head cam, the point of view, trucker's point of view. Hmm, it's a good channel name. It's not already out there. I don't know. Well, finish putting these on. I'll get my straps and this trailer's all clean. Like somebody just washed it. That's nice. And I just gotta wash the truck, right? <laughs> Truck's filthy. Oh, this time I'll be able to make it one shot though because I have plenty of time. Last time I did this, or last week, whatever. Uh, I picked it up Thursday and didn't get in there till Friday because I didn't have enough hours to make it in the first like the first run. So uh, this time I got here last night, so I got a full clock. I'm ready to rock and roll. This one's already open, so make sure you put all these in here correctly, huh? I've been to um, 
I've talked about terrible places, terrible roads, great roads, uh, all that kind of stuff. So uh, don't don't take it as me whining. Well, I guess you can. I can't tell you what to do, but I'm not whining. Um, I do tend to be a little more pessimistic than optimistic sometimes, and that might be part of what's going on. But I'm certainly not complaining. I uh, love trucking. I uh, love it. You know, I have for uh, for a very long time. Things could definitely be different, but you know, there's uh, things could be a whole lot worse as well. So uh, definitely not complaining, like it seems to be uh, mentioned that I am. So just want to clear that up. I have no reason to complain, you know. I really think about it. Even with the crappy locations or crappy roads or traffic or bad weather, whatever it is, um, I don't really have any reason to complain. Like I, I'm uh, fortunate enough to be able to get out here to work and uh, make an honest living for my family, and I'll you know, share it with you guys on on the uh, the old team. So I, uh, you know, I can't complain. I'm, I'm very I'm very happy. I'm able to get home when I want to. Uh, you know, yeah, I can't, I can't stay home all the time because I gotta get out and make money. But other than that, I, I'm, I'm happy. You know, like I said, there's a lot of traffic out here, guys. There's a lot of freaking traffic. It's crazy. It's interesting to go through these little towns though, and just see the different kinds of stores and all that. But I've rambled on for long enough, I reckon. It ain't much different from here to the interstate. Just a bunch of red lights. Uh, one little part of town to another little part of town, and another little part of town, and the big road. We'll open her up in the big road. I think I'll be getting fuel at the uh, the Petro in Remington. I gotta check it and make sure it's still the the biggest discount because it was like four four fourteen or something like that uh it was super low after our discount after our landstar discount so i'm definitely gonna try and get fuel there oh my nose i gotta sneeze I don't know which way you're going there, mister. Maybe to the left, I don't know. I can't quite. Oh, it says no turn on red, that's dumb. I don't really want to just block this intersection though. Uh, here we go, we'll sit here. Well, I'll see y'all in a few. Get on down the road a little ways. See what kind of old fuel mileage this old girl gets, and uh, yeah, talking y'all in a bit. Guys, just got fuel here at the Loves in uh, Demont, 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 whatever this is, Jasper, Indiana County, Jasper County in Indiana, whatever. Uh, the 230. Um, we got a massive discount. Seventy. 79 cent discount on this uh, of a gallon which is super nice and 219 gallons with uh, 1,556 miles came out to two two geez uh, 710 a mile is what I uh, paid for fuel so or what I, my fuel mileage geez all over the place right now um, but we're gonna get on the road. We got what five and a half hours to go yet. Nice easy little push to get on down there. Rock through Indianapolis and then uh, uh Louisville and down on in Bowling Green. So this isn't uh this really isn't that bad of a run. The only thing I didn't think about was so I pick up Monday. Today, 
deliver Tuesday, get back up to uh, Illinois um, Tuesday night, which my next load wouldn't be ready until Wednesday night. Um, so the loads pay very good. The problem is there's so much time in between each round trip. And I didn't, I just kind of seen how well it paid and was like, all right, heck yeah, this is gonna work out great. Um, you know, it goes down to Bowling Green. That's, you know, not too far from where I live. Uh, this would be nice. And yeah, not so much. Definitely, uh, definitely not my favorite set of round trips, but all right, I've done a lot of work with this agent. Um, and uh, they've been good to me, so I'm gonna, you know, I could probably cancel on a couple of these, but I'm not going to, I'm just gonna finish it out. Um, like I said, it still pays good. There's just a lot of time. It's gonna take a lot of time to get this kind of money from this total package of all these loads when I technically could make more money doing regular freight instead of round trips, but it's all good. Can't complain. We're happy. We're making money. Little puppy dog hanging out the window there. When I drove for Fry Miller, uh, I had my wife with me and our two dogs and Michelangelo, goofy dog, he'd stick his head out the window like that. And on the, the Peterbilt 386 that we drove, the button, the arms are like flat. You know, the, the armrests or whatever on the door are flat the buttons are just push buttons on top of it so there's no like safety or anything to keep you from pushing the button down when you should be right um, to like roll the window up and I know this car is gonna be pissed I'm sorry I didn't mean to do that I thought it was a four lane and it's not my bad uh, this guy geez looking out the window and he, he steps on the up button but he pushes rolls the window up and his head's hanging out and he's like squirming and gagging and I'm like oh my goodness and my wife and I are freaking out so I'm like I'm trying to push the button going down the road and he's standing on it so he, it, I can't overrule the button because he's on it and finally uh, she was able to get up here and like take his legs off the or take his paw or whatever off of the uh the button <laughs> like dog tried to cut his head off with <laughs> with the window <laughs> but it's all good <laughs> i love funny stuff like that it looks like it's gonna be a nice little truck stop there um yeah guys let's get on the big road Get up there and I can't reach that other set. Oh, let's do this. Nothing crazy, right? Simple. Get off the straps. Oh. Bright and early, guys. I'm actually, here on time, which is good. <laughs> so, we'll put these in the truck and then we're gonna go get in the dock.
we are unloaded finally took about an hour and hour and 20 minutes or so uh just took all the placards off the trailer we are loaded with like just under 6,000 pounds of empty racks and it only comes to it might come to like right here in the trailer there's not a whole lot of a lot of freight in there uh so we're gonna head back up to illinois be there a little earlier than expected like i said this uh this load definitely this round trips didn't turn out the way i expected or, or was thinking they would just like wham bam and done uh it's definitely like monday wednesday friday even though you're empty on tuesday down here you gotta go back up there and wait till wednesday for your next load and it's just not my favorite thing i'll definitely pay more attention next time but it's decent money i can't complain even though i sound like i'm complaining but uh we're good let's go uh go ahead and get on the road all right we are uh not too far out stopped at a walmart back there in dyer indiana dry dyer dryer just across the, the state line back there uh had plenty of parking i walked in there's like no grocery sign like you can get like dry food like chips and sodas and stuff like that but there's no like cold food or produce none of it <laughs> but luckily there was a in the same parking lot adjacent to it it was there was a, a grocery store there and that place is not cheap but i got some groceries so we're definitely going to work on eating better trying to stop all the processed foods as much um, and just eating out of the truck in general, like that's something I've struggled with my entire career of trucking. Um, I want to get healthier. I want to be here to see my kids graduate. Um, you know, just like I want to walk my daughters down the aisle, you know, when that time comes. Um, I want to be here for that. So I got to do better. I got to eat out of the truck, uh, you know, eat healthier food and stay away from the kind of stuff and um, I have a very addictive personality so I, I'm very easily addicted to something that's why I stopped the social media thing for a while is because I, I got so caught up in the uh, gotta see what's going on gotta do this gotta do that and it just wasn't healthy for me by myself that's all I cared about that's like how many views how many likes you know who said what uh, you know like that that's that's all I wound up caring about so I, I had to I had to walk away from it for a while. Um, and now I'm, I'm not doing it as much, like putting out video after video after video, uh, taking my time. It's not it's not the most important thing in my life. Uh, so I I find myself paying attention to, to other things and you know taking that like I'm, I'm usually that person that's in a rush. Like I oh, I gotta hurry and get there. Well, I, I can take that extra two minutes it takes to, uh, you know, to to clean off the mirrors, uh, whatever it is. Like I, I can do that. I can take my time with something instead of just uh, rushing. And I, I'm I'm working on slowing down and uh, just trying to trying to build a better me, uh, not just for myself but for my family. And uh, I think that's really important. I think a lot of us could could strive to, to do that. We are here, guys and gals. A bunch of kill deer. Oh, they got a little baby kill deer. It's like a mama kill deer. I hope y'all seen that. That was cool. Uh, kill deer lay their eggs in rocks, like gravel. Because it, it looks like their eggs. Um, I'm going to let these guys know I'm here and I got empties. Stupid freight liner. Seatbelt situation here. <laughs> Yeah, I have empties. I'm sorry. I have return racks, empty racks. From, uh, from, from Android Bowling Green. Where did they put the, the yard? 
Yeah, yeah. usually it's like 62 through 64 or the yard. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Awesome. Thank you.
signs. We are uh, done for the night. I'm gonna go cook some salmon and some potatoes or rice and some vegetables of some sort. So thank y'all for riding along with me. Y'all know the deal. Let your family know you love them. Think a veteran. Carry a weapon because you are the first responder for yourself. Um, there's too many stories out there of people just watching crazy things happen to other people and recording it with their phone and it's insane. Uh, Y'all be safe. Please let your family know you love them. Give them hugs and kisses. All that good stuff. Thank you, veteran. Be safe. I will see y'all in the next one. Again, thank y'all for riding along. Um, yeah, y'all be good.